and of course trapeze artists stop it please stop it we don't need circus this is the life and the school of life this is not circus but the university of life project it's a very serious international project which is targeted to transform lives this is not circus and we were preparing for this presentation very seriously and while doing so we uh, were also shocked ourselves by the uh, results it has you know University of Life offers a lot of uh, books, projects, uh, which you will now see. The time is going swiftly. Just recently, we were thinking to, um, you know, how can we find um, the way to connect with people, then later on, more mobile phones appeared, then other gadgets and now we can get through to any person through any device because this is the time of speed and acceleration and can you tell me do you have time to study for example can you allocate 10 years of your life just for education do you have at or at least five years for education? I believe it's very hard to answer this question. To be wealthy and rich is the purpose of many. But no one wants to pay five or ten years of his or her life for that. And this is why self-education is the way out. Let us read the books and attend different trainings of University of Life and thus we will not need to waste five or ten years of our life. By reading the book you can make history. And if you uh, don't get self-educated there will be someone who will influence your life and will uh, lead you in life, not you yourself. And you know, while sitting on the pews here, you are not just an attendee of a certain conference, you are the one who will be able to transform your life and many other lives. You can also become a student of the University of Life project. University of Life offers nourishing life. It will teach you to live creatively and an interesting way. So, and to know how it will be, let us invite Roman Panamarenko. Give a round of applause. Let us play. Roman Panamarenko is the creator of intellectual games and a trainer of family relationships, a creative thinker. He is married, has two children. He lives playing games. He can find any solution through games and can find any decision. Let us play. Let us stand up. Okay, let me suggest playing one very interesting game. This game is for attention. The person who will fulfill my tasks correctly is a good girl or good boy. So let us stand up now and let us play such a game. So you have three attempts. Just repeat after me. And repeating after me, you should learn something new. So you have three attempts. Repeat after me and show such movements. The opportunities are there. The opportunities are here. I see opportunities all over around. Everywhere around. There is another attempt for you. 
Now, just imagine uh, that you are the person who sees opportunities all around you. So there is, this is the second attempt. The, the opportunities are there. The opportunities are here. I see opportunities. Always and everywhere. And last time. The opportunities are there. The opportunities are here. I see opportunities. Always and everywhere. So let us now start playing game. Now I will I will now uh, start uh, repeating the same words but showing different movements and the one who will repeat the same movements with the same words is a good boy or good girl. The opportunities are there. So I will confuse you with my movements. You should repeat those movements which were before. So the opportunities are there. Opportunities are here. I see opportunities, always and everywhere, who has n not made any mistakes, uh, raise your hand, so please congratulate yourself with the victory, tell yourself that you are the person who sees opportunities everywhere, let us repeat. The opportunities are there, the opportunities are here, I see opportunities, always and everywhere. Thank you. Roman, I think you look very solid and cannot understand how come you invented such a simple game. What can it give? It gives a good opportunity to spend uh, time, uh, leisure time in a fun way. And during several days, these days, in our cafe, in our social city, I will, I will explain to the foreigners what's going on. Let me explain in English. Anybody who speaks English here, just in case you don't fully understand what's going on. Now, in the church here, our goal is to help everybody realize their potentials, discover their gifts, and go into that sphere of life to inherit it, as we say it, or to dominate it, or to win it over for God. So, this is an individual who is using games to conquer the world. So what he does, he takes one of the books that I've written and makes games from them, either card games or table games. I, 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 all of you, do all of you know Monopoly? You know the game they call Monopoly? Things like that. Games like that. So he develops games like that. And releases them to the society. And through that brings people to God. And through the values of the kingdom, bring the values of the kingdom of God to the marketplace. So this is the idea here. Someone that is using his gift and his talent, mathematics, to develop gifts not like monopoly for the world but gifts i mean for, but uh, games that emphasize the values of the kingdom of god so that you will play it and then come to god in the process for example a game could say if you leave honoring orders you are elevated in life so you are playing you think you are playing so the name of the game could be honor and when you dishonor you discover that you lose game, you lose uh, facts or you fall down or you go to jail or something like that but when you honor you see that you become president or you become a director so that's what games are and those are the kind of things he's developing and that's why he tried to use games to teach us to, you know, to communicate to us today that through games we can bring the kingdom of God to reach the world that's the idea so you may find Roman
through the contacts on the screen. You can also uh, suggest him your ideas on the games. Thank you very much, Roman. So, Roman, thank you very much. There are $200. Uh, and the dollars are fake, of course, because it's a game, too. Okay, let us continue. The University of Life is all about the books, first and foremost. It is a totality of wisdom and continuous self-education. You may find new ideas or create them. Everything started from the following. There are different phrases which are already worn out that, you know, you, you may live your life without mistakes, but it's just delirious. But God's resource is bottomless because he is wise. He makes the earth fertile and the seed to bear fruits. Under the um, effect of wisdom, everything changes. And this is all about faith. Faith can conquer many hearts and attract, while another one can be sitting on some uh, poor island all alone with a bowl, uh, with a hole in it. Education is the light. Absence of education is darkness. The one who understood this will always be ahead. Helen Nismian, poetess and the director of Fatum, an actress. You know that every child knows that self-education and education is very important. Do you remember this very famous song? They teach us at school, teach us at school, and you know, we used to listen to this song so many times, and our parents used to say, oh, you have to study a lot and a lot. You know, what is school? School is textbooks, and textbooks is what? It is subjects, mathematics, literature, etc. Guys, what are you keeping, what are you holding in your hands? They are the books of University of Life. All people know about these books, and you don't? Even children know about these books. Can you imagine? And if, we, if children know, how come we cannot know, being adults? These books are creating bridges between a state and a man, between a man and a husband. Let us cut a long story short. Let us answer the questions. So I will be asking you questions, and um, you should uh, just name the title of the book where the quote was taken, okay? So the first series of the books from University of Life is dedicated to the relationships between parents and children. So, to whom will your child run for advice if he needs? Which book can answer this question? How can you become a friend to your child? This is the book can become an answer. So, question number two. Uh, do you want to receive dividends uh, from the uh, owner to your parents? Of course, the answers for these questions you may receive from the book, which is called How to Escape the Biggest Regret in Your Life. Question number three. How does your attitude uh, to mom and father change uh, your destiny. Yes, this is the book of the honor is the way to the greatness.
So, question number four. When people... When your children were in uh, diapers, they had need in you. And if you find yourself in diapers, how will they behave with you? You know, sometimes when you read the books, you recollect many mistakes of yours and regret about them. So now the uh, books about the relationships between a husband and a, a wife. So question number one, divorce. Divorce, is it a sin or not? So which two books can help us to uh, solve this question? I think that this is... These are the books. Am I ready to marry a woman? And how to become a good wife? Question number two. Uh, who is the father? The one who gave birth or the one who brought up? So the answer can be found in the book How to Become a Good Father. I am a man. You know, many women want to get married, to become happy, and when they get married, uh, then they ask the question, what happened? I got married, why am I not happy? So which book will help women not to ask these questions? Absolutely right. How to become a good wife and how to marry a man successfully. So question number four. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach, or that is absolutely wrong path, right? So the answer to this question can be found to the in the book Hooray, I'm a Woman, the benefits of unmarried women. So, you know, I, from my experience, I may say that the way to the man's heart is somewhere through the stomach. By the way, we are vegetarians, we eat only raw foods with Helen. So now the series of books dedicated to um, the personal growth. Why do we need you? So the answer to the question you may find in two books, which is called There is a man and there is no man. I'm a man, and my personality. So, the second question, why do you live? So, such a simple question, but not, not many people know the answer to it. So, and the answer to the question is in two books. You know, the answer to the question can be found in the death. You know, only, you know, imagining, imagining that uh, tomorrow I can die, we can find the answer to this question. Question. Question number three. Do you have several red diplomas and receive salary of the street janitor? So the book uh, which will help you to deal with this problem is called From Janitor to President. So now the questions are dedicated to the success. You have read another bestseller about the success and still feel yourself a loser. Do you, is, is this familiar to you? Does this ring a bell? So the books which will help you to deal with this uh, question is called Why wasn't I lucky or who are lucky in life? And another book is Guide to the Great Life. You know, the foreigners uh, envy the Russian speakers because all the books are available only in Russian. You know, uh, pasta, there are also multiple books which are uh, only in English, so we may uh, organize an exchange. They translate into Russian, we translate into English. So, next question. 
Uh, do you um, dream to become rich? And what for? So the answers to these question, questions you may find in two books which are called uh, Don't be a great person and uh, being not a great person is a sin and not being a successful person is also a crime. And these are two books um, which may help you to understand the answer to this question. So the question number three is, you're so good and so right, but why are you still not at the wheel? Why do you not lead your life? So which book should we read then? Why do we not always win in life and who wins in life? These two books can answer the question. Next category of books on spiritual growth and development. Why do we continue to be slaves even though we know that we are kings? And the books where you can get these answers are the illusion of employment. Why chess players are respected? And we think that big people in religion, in history, they always had like their big hats, their amazing garments. But that's not true. Religion was in every home. Because if you were at home and you didn't even say thank you for your food, you'd be punished by your parents. Religion plays in every part of a human. So, question number two. No, the same question. Why do we continue to be slaves even though we are kings? And in order to get the answer for this, you got to read the book 10 Questions to Stephen Hawking. And this is the next question. When does when do we when does a normal life finally begin? That normal life that is so evasive but we always wish for. And you can get the answer for this in the book Life was yesterday. What am I not what am I missing for complete happiness? They will help us find the answer to this question. Have you ever been in a situation where you ask yourself, I don't get what's wrong with me? I don't understand. What's wrong? Yes, I asked it because we all ask ourselves the same question. So what questions should we read? And the name of the book is What is Wrong With Me? Next category of books is Society. So, the question, do we still continue to discuss politics in the kitchen? Because that is the most obvious place where you discuss about politics. Well, I can argue with you that you can also debate on the bench right in front of your house. Are you worried about the state of your country? Well, you can get answers from this in the book, How to Revive a Country, and Seven Wonders of Socialism. Next question. What did we lose with the collapse of the Soviet Union? Or what were we deprived of? The book, Values which we were deprived of. Question number three. Should we change our country or should we start with ourselves? Because sometimes it seems like the country is in such a bad state because the prices of things go up but the salary goes down so something needs to be changed the president is wrong government is not right so what should i start with with myself or with the country so everybody wants to change the country everybody wants to change their neighbor but the key is you have to change yourself and the name of the book is how to become a european and that is a sign of a good society, when you can answer for yourself. But what do the great people say? 
книга это небольшой инструмент and the book is just a little tool that helps us to think it's just a tool that causes us to think and because everybody has the ability to think but these books they help to start the fire in you that's what Emile Faget says a French writer and critic Reading Она books is a great opportunity. It has the uh, has the ability to change your life better than your best friend. So if you still live in luck and success, please get this book and to become your best friend and boss. This was written by a Russian writer. A book has all the answers. You can always turn to it. Because the answers never change. A French said by a French romantic novel. So, if you really want answers, please buy these books. Well, now it's time for the directors of all the spheres of university of life get prepared to see a miracle because we were so amazed at the amazing work that is done near us and i'm just glad that i was able to find out about this magical craziness that is happening around us so under your round of applause here they come and here we are in the world the university of life our guests today are people who from books create new ideas and we use these instruments to influence the whole world some of them edit these books and there's a huge board that works with this some people create games from this and you've already seen it and on this day we already have over 10 games that will help us. Some people, they have trainings. And a whole team of trainers train their trainees in different countries. So could you come closer to us, you great people? And the pers another person created a whole online project with videos on basically every country. Can you imagine that? A video review on basically every book? You already know how many books Pastor Sunday has written. Or maybe a project of library in every home. Who has heard about that? It's how they just read a book, they really enjoyed it, wanted to open the library, and boom, that's a whole movement. If you don't know about it, you haven't met this person. Uh, but how would you like a personal trainer? A personal trainer that you don't need to that you don't need to feed and he only takes 20 square centimeters in your house. You don't need to fight with him and it works for you. It's a daily planner that teaches you and directs your path. As you know, the University of Life is like a matrix. It's something that opens up your thinking. So, attention to the screen. Regional pastor. Oh, interesting. Pastor Natalia. Your life is a great project. I don't know if any of you have ever been able to experience being greater than your whole life. 
when you understand that today you are affecting or you're helping be a part of history. This project it teaches me or shows me what it means to be part of history. Because I understand that all of these programs that are being Film, all the videos that are being filmed, they will, they will remain even though we will be gone. And the first video was just like experimental, many retakes, lots of works, because it wasn't working out to put this all together, to put the sound, the video, Every, the design of the room, it was all very complicated. And we showed Pastor Sunday the first videos and he helped, he gave us, he told us what to correct and then he inspired us greatly. I'm very thankful to my team, the people who have been with me through a lot. And us 10 people, we have just been connected by one goal and all these people each and everyone with their responsibility their talent their love to god and their sacrifice it helps this project you may watch on youtube tv channel youtube channel which you see on the screen so for you to understand why you are clapping you know there are already 1500 videos on University of Life books you know I'm an actress on a TV channel so I know what it is and your task was uh, her task was just to shoot 1000 videos because I promised to give a grant of $100,000 to the one who will shoot a uh, thousand of videos on University of Life books and she even overdid her job so therefore you know for you uh, to be encouraged and propelled to fulfill this target so no one can believe that so uh, no one can believe that grant such a grant can be can be given to a person and this is a problem of our country that we all dream to receive some money but no one wants to work but not in this very case pastor natalie you are such a role model for all of us well done well done thank you very much have you noticed that all genius things are created at the table with cookies and tea and of course there should be the one who took responsibility for a great job and this is Natalie um, she's a regional pastor a president of NGOs Valin and territory of life your applause to her let us greet let us you know make an encounter right here on the stage in the middle and can you discover your secrets how did you succeed in this you know dear pastor I'm so grateful to you from the bottom of my heart I bow before you because without you I would not succeed if not for your idea if not for your encouragement inspiration and wow effect if not your acceptance I would not be sitting like that uh, looking through my videos again and again while she while she is uh, speaking can you show her videos on the screen please yeah therefore when we received this challenge this offer I had this in my heart already I wanted to shoot videos on University of Life books and to date we have worked a year already and for a year we have created 1500 uh, you know videos you know pastor Natalie don't uh, be offended but just you are a really hard working person you work as hard as a horse uh, you know 
So, you know, can you imagine um, that uh, each video takes five, seven minutes? And if she could, uh, or if she had done um, even one video per day, there, uh, there had to be only 365 videos only. But she was uh, shooting more than five, uh, more than four videos every day. You know, I think that she succeeded not only because she is beautiful, but she is an industrious person. You know, if she was she was sitting at home on her sofa, she wouldn't succeed. But you know, you you need to lift your bottom and and start working. Dear friends, have you ever had such a desire to shoot videos with you as a presenter on different topics? Have you ever had such a dream? Wave your hand if so. Uh, don't be shy. Okay, so I see some people here who really dream to, to have own videos, but why do you still not have your own videos? Why? Because you did nothing. Therefore, I want to inspire you through her example. We should learn a lesson from her uh, experience. Just take, um, you know, an advantage and do something. So how many views are there on YouTube? A uh, half a million, half a million of views uh, for a year. It's just for a year. Hallelujah. Because there was only one woman who decided to move on and to do something. Yeah, uh, we have 1,500 uh, followers uh, who subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, I have only 700 and you outstripped me. Yeah, Pastor, you know, I believe indeed in into the hard work. You know, we thought that we will shoot maximum 10 videos. But then we shot 43 for one, uh, say, day. And every day we work m over eight hours. Every day. You know, of course, if we count uh, preparation and rehearsals, it will take more hours, of course. But uh, we may start um, um, in the very early morning and then finish, um, at, uh, you know, the uh, midnight or after midnight. And can you imagine that I was talking all these hours? Can you speak for six hours nonstop? Huh? I believe that you sanctified. I believe that the word sanctified is uh, correct in this context. Think that you you sanctified 43 books with your videos, basically. I don't know, honestly, I, I'm afraid of asking other questions because I have millions of questions. I want to run after you and just ask one question. How did you do this? How? How? Tell me. You know, Helen, uh, the uh, MC on the stage, she is a professional actress, a TV worker, and she knows what she says. And the level on which you have shot the videos is very very high. I, I put the A grades for you and we will maybe uh, create a, a sort of Oscar for you. You know, looking at your example, I, I want to do more. Dear Pastor, thank you very much. You are my spiritual father and you will be always my spiritual father. Thank you very much for your abundant love and for the standards and high, heights you show. Thank you very much that you allow to be near you. Thank you that I can learn from you. To date, I don't have questions. And for the next year, this year, I have a lot of 
for books to cover with my videos. I think that you started working faster than me, since I publish books slower than you shoot your videos. You know, usually people complain that they don't manage to read the books uh, when another one appears. And you know, Pastor, when I finish shooting the videos, I will come to you for the next task. <laughs> You know, you spurred me to think what task to create for you because you are successful. Thank you very much. We are proud of you. I will explain for foreigners in English. Of how people could discover themselves, their gifts and their uniqueness to take the kingdom of God and advance it. What is happening here is that she knows that she has the look and the physique and she has the beauty, but she wants to be able to sell that without corrupting herself. So the idea she came up with is to be doing video clips, vi you know, with values, with messages that would change lives of people. So she decided to just be doing video, shooting herself. Then she came together with it. Uh, she came up with a team, and together with a with a team, just in one year, they have been able to produce one thousand five hundred videos, and that's like three videos a day because you know a, a, a day a year is only 365 so it's an, um, and she's a pastor still and she's still working and to be able to do that is just incredible and they've been able to in one year influence listen you can't believe it in one year 500,000 people half a million just one little lady that decided to act amazing 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 I've got a question to you, anyway. You know, some thoughts sprang into our minds, I believe, here. If you have a book or if you have some script, how, how can we contact you to, uh, you know, shoot, shoot a video? on the script we create. So you may find a contact of Pastor Natalie in the office of the church or on the website. So my name is Natalie Nagonichna. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Natalie. You know, you proved uh, that life has a sense. You proved that beauty is nothing comparing with hard work. And the next project. The next project is yes, all about the trainings and Helen Belova, the head of department dedicated to training sessions, uh, will present this division. So she trained more than 1,000 trainees. She's a regional trainer and consultant and psychologist and president of all Ukrainian NGO, which is called Social Collaboration. Give a round of applause. Yeah, let me ask a question anyway. This is my business. A question is really banal and trivial. Uh, why do we need so many trainers? Uh? I'm really, really, really grateful to Pastor Sunday that he helped me to realize my potential. And I have acquired so many, no so much knowledge for these years as never before. I have been in the church for many years and I know many of you. But here in University of Life, I discovered my inner potential and uh, realized it. I bow before you. Thank you. And answering this question, let me say that why, sh why do we need trainers? Trainers bring transformation into lives of people. 
they bring practical things uh, to the lives of people uh, after reading the books of university of life. They can bring harmony to multiple fields of life. And I believe that um, these books can help to receive new and uh, real uh, values of life. Yeah, what about the lazy people who don't like studying? You know, lazy people, come on, come to me. Uh, we will help you to create uh, such, you know, easy, streamlined uh, textbooks which, uh, you know, will help you to develop. And, you know, we will also create training uh, which will, you know, which you will be able to uh, present everywhere you wish. So on the screen, entrepreneur is the creator of his own future. The book is called, the next book, where can we uh, receive money, for, where can we get money for our dream and what is dream for? So, we are lazy people, and lazy people don't like when they are called lazy. So, um, of course, for busy people, hardworking people, these boots are nice, uh, you know, words. But anyway, uh, let us show the names of the books. I'm a man. Am I a personality? Um, the bride you can envy. So the one who studied at my trainings uh, may prove that it's very easy to become a trainer. Uh, because the trainings of University of Life are easy, practical and professional. Thank you very much, Helen. Thank you very much. Let me explain for foreigners in English language. For a year, she trained over 1,000 trainees. Can you imagine that? Who has ever dealt with this area? Wave your hand, please. Who has ever dealt with the trainings? Can you imagine that uh, you can you can hold maximum 500 trainings per year, but she over overdone it. I'm I'm really proud of you all. Really, you create so good projects, so good textbooks. Can you show them, please? It's incredible. Things. And so for two years he has certified 300 trainers. So they are professionals now. It's only embers of God Church uh, that can create so many things. Now, for foreigners, okay, this is another person that is using training, trainings, coaching to spread the kingdom of God. So in two years, she was able to organize 1,000 trainings. <laughs> that is amazing. 1,000 is 500 a year. So it's more than once a day. That is amazing. But she's able to do that because she has a team as well. And then they've been able to train 300 coaches and trainers in two years. You know, those are the kind of miraculous stuff individual believers could achieve when you release them and empower them. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Yelena Belova, we just thank you so much. And now the next category is the category of working with with the daily planners. And we just applaud you for taking a step closer to normal people. So, I personally have four planners, thus, so I can get production four times more. But I want to know, should I get a fifth one? Because I already have four, is it enough? And wow, are you gonna, can you handle this? So, hello, dear churchmen. I am in charge of creating these planners. This is the idea of Pastor Sunday, as he entrusted me with. 
And they think of Pastor Sunday that you would be so kind to trust me with this and to answer your question. I would argue for you that you should get the fifth planet because going into a store, you can take, you can see many notebooks. Red, black, green, no question. But none of them will offer you the point and the goal for each month. Oh, it's not right. This, this isn't just this is a plan, this is not just a normal notebook. But I'm saying, just not, it, no, any notebook will give you and offer you any goals for any month. This planner, though, will give you a goal for every month. Not any notebooks from the store will force you to make a decision of the day. But these planners do. It's going to suggest for you a citation of the day. But none of the notebooks in the store will give you advice about what you need to do today in order to be closer to your goal. Wait, I already want to open this. So I can talk a lot about this plan. But I still think that you shouldn't compare this planner with notebook. You need to compare it with a different planner. Because this isn't just a planner. This is your personal trainer. That is the difference. Because there are no personal trainers. That is the specific difference. And I'll tell you that no daily plan, no planners have d written in here. Tell goal of the month. I promise to love myself for my body. And these are all achievable goals. I accept my body. The way it is. My age. My color and yes, it is true, it's your personal training for every day. And I can say a lot, but I just recommend you to look at it once by looking at the screen. daily planner of a good wife. It's not right. I tell him one thing, but he tells me nothing. He doesn't understand me. Oh, I'm so annoyed at him. So tired. so tired of these relationships, when you are not understood, oh, she annoys me so much. Well, maybe I should try, maybe it's not too late to fix everything, I really do want to.
And Pastor, this is a gift for you. Wow, the video was amazing. All these videos that are being shown today, the quality is just so high. And is this one of your videos? No, this is ours. This is our own department, and we can make our own video. And we have been filming it for a month now. We wanted to create a social advertisement for this client. We wanted to show that if your relationship is ruined somewhere, if you don't know where an exit is, it's very easy. Just take this personal trainer into your hands. And us men, we're already jealous because we want one as well. We're waiting for one. Everything is there for you. So, if you want to purchase this planner, and if you see this advertisement around, please spread it. Uh, repost it on your social networks. Let the world see it. I thank you for this trust you've given to us. How many planners are there? So in a year we've created 24 types. So there's a planner, how to become Ukrainian, a planner, how to get money for your future, a disciplined child, how to marry a man, the right man, how to become from gender to a president. On 23 books of University of Life, we have planners. And we continue to work. So if you want to create unique products, please speak with me. Guys, did you know about that? We all live in one home. And we didn't know that this is such an amazing thing that there are 24 products that will help with any situation. Thank you so much, Aksana. Give them a round of applause. This is all University of Life. I just want to say that for all men, if you really want to give this to them as a gift, how to become a good wife, be very sensitive and sincere about it. And there are many books. The question, and the question arises, how does Pastor Sunday have the time to write so many books? And here to the help comes the team of editors. Pastor Natalia Kalida. And right to it, the question has already been made. Come on, come to the front, don't be shy. Can you answer the question that worries all of us? Even if you don't raise up your hand, you will know. How do you, if we don't have enough time to read the books, how can someone have time to write them? I think that if a person understands that a University of Life book has answers to the questions, they will read them very fast. Because every person has problems, right? And they arise every day. And each book is an answer to a problem. So somebody lives with a problem for a year, two, three, four, five years. And they continue living that way. But if every month a man took a book and worked on it, he'd be able to work on himself and the problems would disappear, people would be happy. And this is why we're here. You don't want to say that it's only you that works, right? Of course not. I want to use this opportunity to say and thank our pastor for that when he works with books, he also right, lifts up normal people, people who are just sitting in the hall, who are just at home, maybe in a different country or in a different city. And I'd like today to honor those people who are working at the books in the University of Life. So, Pastor raises us, he lifts us up, and through these books, we have been raised. These are people who were basically nobodies. But thanks to God and Him helping us like that, we leave our names in history. So I just want to read off some of those names. 
So while you're opening, let me just say this. If you think, oh, I can't do anything, those people, of those names that you're about to hear, they thought like you as well. And I edited one book. So when you edit one book, you don't just know this book, you become this book. You live in this book. And you know how cool it is to live in one and it's a great job done. And I'll be reading some names. And these people, they're sitting next to you in this hall. And I want, if you, if you hear your name, you could just stand up. And we will just give them a round of applause. So, Irina Erusikova. Oksana Galko. Yelena Stavsny, Bogdan Lilia, Yelena Zavulka, Anastasia Zavulka, Zamira Svetlana Zamirenka, Ekaterina Galina Kirchenka, Olga Bykova, Tatiana Shishko, Natalia Samruk, Yelena Bonda, Александр Ивонюкин, Кристина Ковенева, Костина Елена, Плетнева Мария, Астахова Алексей, Шегрин Татьяна, Татьяна Шегрин, Надежда, Надежда, Назир Анна, Игнатьева Оксана, Оксана, Воробьева Александра, Александра, Павниченко Ирина, Ирина, Павниченко Юлия, Юлия, Садридинова Умеда, Умеда, Котельникова Алена, Алена. Светлана, Ярослав, let us give them a big round of applause and thank them for all their hard work. All these books that you saw on the screen today and different spheres of life. These guys have worked super hard on these material. And these books are here so that we can read them. Thank you Pastor Sunday for making us a part of history. Thank you for sharing your success with us and your knowledge. And when we're working on these books, our lives are changed. We become personalities. And the values of God, they are just planted into our seeds and hearts. So I want to invite those people who would want to join our team. You can find us every day during the day of the, during the anniversary. That's incredible. So if you don't like to read books, but you understand that you still need to read these books, just become part of the editing team and you'll be forced to read them. Thank you for such such a wise advice. And this is for the English speakers now. Uh, the last two people presented, this very last one, is the team of redactors. Uh, people that, editors, we call them editors. People who help me edit my books. So that they work on them because I don't have all the time to sit down. Because I have five books coming out every month. So I have a team of people that help me with the editing. And uh, that is that team. But the, team, the other one before then, the lady with the film, is uh, another another team of people writing uh, what we call personal trainers, like um, guide, personal guide. Like uh, it's um, it's you be able to walk uh, notebook, but that you but like make you to work on yourself. Just you know notebooks that help you to uh, work on your character and for you to develop the necessary virtues in life. Yep. A full team works on writing these books. And this, this brings up the next question. How does this, how, how did these books created and spread throughout the whole world? And this is the next project. And it is our department of the libraries. And remember there was a store we watched the video we watched this morning. This is this type of person who, whenever there is something to do, they always want to help. 
this person knows how to do everything. I'll, you are in charge of the department of the library or the movement University of Life book in each home. We're making this step forward with you. So, I have a question for you. How many representatives there are, are there of of libraries. Uh, so there are they are in eleven countries. Wow. What about representatives? Maybe plus or minus fifteen, about four hundred. So I'd say three hundred and eighty-five representatives of University of Life in this department. People come and read these books. And there are 3,000 libraries at home. Your applause. So if I have a book of University of Life, am I already at library? So you can come to me at any moment. So I can't run away from this. No, this is your personal library, but if you want to be part of us, you can be part of it. So after a book has been read, it can be a library right away and share it with other people. And I think the price is different. Oh, stop saying all the secrets of our library. So, how many libraries are there over? Over 400,000? So there are some libraries that are the classic ones, but all together, let's see, 3,885. So, wow, that's amazing. So, 3,380. And I thought you were going to tell us something else. Oh, it's just because we already talked about it in the first service. If you read books, if you want to open up a library, if you have any ideas, please join us. And we would want to open up an organization where we can help more. And if you are very interested, please join us. And we cannot just only read these books, but we can also be helpful with them. Wow, that's amazing. Imagine 3,400 libraries all over Ukraine and the whole world. Three, over 3,000 libraries. Imagine that basically every street can have a library in every home. 3,800. We're going to change Ukraine, whether Ukraine wants it or not. Oh, are you okay? Oh, nothing, I'm just speaking such a way. But I can speak much better. How many of us have uh, defective speech or just can't say what we want? Or we just have stage fright? Who is you? Who knows this type of situation? Come on, be brave. I know it's more than a few of you. There are a lot of us. So I just want to give a word right now to Alexander Grigorov. He is an actor. He's a director. And he's also part of our church, a trainer, a consultant, and an expert in the sphere of public speaking. So you get the floor now. Mark Tuciron once said, I know nothing better than the ability with the word, with your mouth, to attract a whole crowd, to influence them and to influence their will from where you want to go. We have the power to think well. But we don't always have the power to speak well. How hard it is to say one's thought or what is written in a book. Each person strives for success. And it all comes to a conclusion 
when it comes to being able to speak orally. It's not the better people who win, but the better speakers who win. So learning how to speak well should be a goal of each person. Because if we want to be successful in this life, you should prepare for this. Each training and diversity of life is, has includes a course on public speaking so if you are not very sure of your ability to speak on stage in front of people please you're very welcome and my contacts are, that can they can be found at the office Alexander Grigori еще 0903 and now you understand how he was able to persuade me to marry me. He has such an interesting speech. I just wanted to always listen to him. Well, well. It's not time. It's time for humor and laughing. Because without humor and laughing, life would be very dull. So the head of this, Oksana Golovko. Good afternoon. Today I am here, Oksana Golovko. What happened all these days before University of Life? What strategies? were made by the University of Life. Who stands here in front of the University of Life? You will hear all about this from the news in the University of Life. Two years ago, University of Life was born. Some people came, some people left. But there were those who worked silently under the tutelage of our boss, Pastor Sunday. You could look at the editors and say, wow, they're so normal. And this is the open society. It's not hidden. They're not special or geniuses. There are those who took the decision to create history in themselves. And you can see them all around you. And not knowing that they are creating their genius every day. Every other t Tuesday, the editor's team meets. And great ideas are made not only in the Silicon Valley. They are made with great enthusiasts, enthusiasts who are ready to take risks. If you are not with us yet, we will come to you. University of Life workers at 3 o'clock every Wednesday they meet. My idea disappeared. That's what the little kid yelled from across the street. But then people in dressed very nicely came to him and changed his world. If you are in need of resources, then the University of Life will be able to help you with that. It can be found through smiles and a comforting voice. Every day during the breaks of the anniversary, you can see them in the social hub. You're being called in the door, and they're smiling. They're offering you something. But you're thinking with a stubborn heart to open or not to open. And in the people you see a kind door, Allah Furman, and you open the door. Alla Fulman, with her libraries, was able to reach you. And there are some unknown codes that have been shown in the house. SMN, which are able to, in so social networks to repost. If you don't know how to become popular in the popular in the social sphere, I tell you to find a person with the last name Coronis and they will help you how to become popular very quickly.
Проходя по коридору во время перерыва, не перепутайте социальный городок со столовой. Предлагаю вам оставаться in the place where the cafeteria is, you can also be in our social hub, where you can find out many things about all the projects of our church. So we will see you soon. University of Life. University of Life gives answers to many problems, and they exist with every one and every day. Problems every day people have problems. Because life is a battle, and we are made, and we are called to be winners in it. There, behind the wall, is my victory. Behind that thick slab of concrete, where, there no, where no light comes through the wall of facts, the wall of no, or the wall of come back tomorrow. There are no more victories today. And my hope cried because of the gray walls that wouldn't let me through. And he brought bright from heaven through thunder. And he says, your victory is right there, right behind the wall. It is there. And that helped my hope. And through my hope came faith, and through my faith, God's wings came. And the wall that was there crumbled to dust. I'm not scared anymore of iron logic. Nothing can steal me anymore. My dreams cannot be broken. But all who come to me with fear say, I stand strong and I hold it in my own arms. I will believe until I get my success. Большого зала передо мной, но столько лет стена стояла. That wall stood there for so many years, and I wondered how long could it be there. And I kept on pushing as as far as my strength allowed it. But the wall still remained. And I have to conquer it. And I was able to defeat it. And I will be able to while you're all with me. With me. My wall is made from hard material and not smoke. I don't need your lives. AK-47 
again. The wall remains there. I have to conquer it. I will be able to defeat it. As long as you are all with me. And where's the wall now? It's not there anymore. And I'm able to come here on stage and I shout, build me a wall. I can conquer anything now. And once again, the wall stands. And I, have to conquer it. And I will defeat this wall as long as you're all with me. As long as my God is with me. Bravo, wow, that was amazing. Good job. That is one of the many talents that are in our church. That was Natalia Kolada, who is in charge of the Department of Education. Do you know who Lev Tolstoy is? He is he's a pretty big alcoholic who would stand near the, near the trash cans and say, I wanted to write this book called War and Peace, but he was told that nobody likes to hear about war and nobody believes in peace. But he still wrote this book, and we know characters of, from the book that were left. And maybe some of you have a story that will shake mankind. And maybe you're scared of speaking, like Moses, but Moses was able to find Aaron who would be able to say what he thought. Pastor Sanders said that he will not leave this earth until he will leave the earth with a thousand books and the latest book that he written that he wrote is called why should i write a book tell me about it oh you want me to come out okay i'm ready pastor sunday we welcome please welcome him the start of these people the start of this success. Does nobody need all this fake money that Roman, who played this game with us? Wow, by a hundred dollars. You must be really rich. So, why do I write books? And, or, why do you have to write your own book? This is the very latest book. You may be seated. So, uh, you already asked the question yourself. All right, so why am I writing this? Why do I write books? So each chapter, it explains why. And maybe Yelena will help to read the chapters and I will explain. So chapter one. When you write books, do we have another book? Oh, it will be brought soon. Isn't that it right there? Yes, it is. We're going to read the forward, the table of contents. Crystallize your passion. Do you have a passion for something? A book, it will keep this passion with you forever. And many of us had passions, but it's been ruined already. We've, been, we've forgotten about it. Some people have gotten to the point where they don't even have any, any passion left because they never wrote it. 
Right next. That's why I write a book. Each one of my book hold one of my passions. Next. Cross over continents and eras. Because of this, I don't live in one lifetime. I live for centuries to come. I cross over not only this era that I live in, but thanks to him, thanks to these books, I'll be able to live through my books in other areas, not just Ukraine though, but other continents as well. And look at all these foreigners that are here. They are able to read my books and come to Ukraine, even though I haven't left Ukraine in a couple of years. So it helps me to cross over continents and areas. Remain where you can't. Oh, you'll be able to remain where your physical body won't remain. So, for example, if I have a book in Los Angeles, my spirit will still be there even if my physical body is here. Thanks to this book, I can be everywhere. So, all of you will be going back to your home cities on Monday and you'll be taking a part of me with you. Because I can be here and there at the same time. Weave yourself through the book. By these books, I become unforgettable. I am an unforgettable person because I left myself on this earth through these books. You know, we can invest money, we can invest time. But I think the best investment is to write a book. Because I, if I invest money, I can lose it. If I invest time, time runs out. But if I invest myself in a book, it will bring dividends, even if I won't be here. You can, ec you can economize money through it, money and time through it. So, because I write a book, I don't have to retell everyone the same solution to a problem. I've written it once, and now everybody can get it. So I don't have to repeat all my... And even this, I don't have to answer this question anymore, because I wrote a book about it. Create your own time capsule. So what, a, what is a capsule? It is something that you take but it has something inside of it. So when you take in a capsule like a pill, it has something inside of it. So the outer edge it dissolves but what's inside is the important thing. So this knowledge that people take, they swallow it but the knowledge and important part remains inside of it. Create your own system of values. Every person has their own values. Coca-Cola has their own values. McDonald's has their own set of values. Book, my books have my, my books are my values because I write what I actually believe in through these books. Become creators of a new mentality. Thanks to these books, I, I create new people, new modern people. So I write a book in order to create a new nation. And I formulate new men mindsets of people. So before you came to Embassy of God, you were one type of people. You drank, you took, you smoked, you took drugs. But now when you came here, you and talked to me, you have changed. Now I don't, you don't have to come to me. You can just read these books, and you will be changed. Even if they have never seen me, it's amazing. Change the traditions of old. 
ne katori adi adna je injina mne na pesa like wari ya ni na vide la because of this you could say i hated my mom but i had now i have this book now i came home i for, asked for forgiveness and now she just were just happy she never saw me but my book it helped me change the tradition of the of their wives and that is how it always is and it will affect every other country bring positive changes into someone else's life positive changes who has ever read a book and that you just felt very good after it have you ever had that and at this time maybe I was just at home sleeping so I can make people feel good without having to stand up get friends outside of your comfort zone every day I receive letters from people I don't know thankfully they so they read my book and they thank me become immortal thanks to these books I'll never die why because I didn't just leave one book I plan on leaving a thousand books I'll be the first person on this earth to write a thousand books and you know let's, I'll, I'll speak about my goals later you can increase your sphere of influence of course this has influence and all these thousand books they will go in a thousand different directions thousand books every month they'll be able to affect me because every month I get maybe two or three and if it's a good month four books but when there'll be thousands it'll be like a thousand every month change someone's life's life in one day so even if a man reads just one chapter his life will be changed be someone who lives in all eras because even though Lva Tastoy died so many years ago he is still being talked about today that makes him a man of this era share your mistakes um, troubles and hardships you know life is all about failures and success and all of us will have both but the main thing is what you are doing with your mistakes will you convert your mistakes to your lesson and the lesson for other people around therefore there are many victories but also uh, there are many mistakes uh, which are very valuable for the whole humankind help someone to start doing something you know thanks to these books uh, someone starts doing something open and reveal God for yourself you know thanks to these books many people receive Jesus and then open up the heaven open new horizons knowledge and experiences do books give all that I'm sure they do help many other people to work on themselves do you think books help to work on your character of course they do share your wisdom and comprehension of deep things do you acquire wisdom through books of course you do does a book inspire of course it does please share your uh, failures and successes it somehow repeats the previous cheer chapter and you know your mistakes help others not to repeat your mistakes amen multiply dialogue with all generations cultures and uh, races I have my books translated to English, German, French and other many languages and I'm just sitting here in Ukraine 
Anyway, I have a dialogue with Japanese, German, French people, Americans, whatever, just because I've written these books. Be quiet. Be quiet. So, just this is the name of the chapter, yeah, because when you have the books with answers, you can have peace in your life, you don't need to worry. Just buy the book and you will get the peace. Become a revolutionary. Thanks to these books, you can transform countries, continents, people who transformed countries and history, they all read a lot of books and created them. There are many, you know, series of books, um, like a, a set of books which you may create from one book. Create your signal. You can become a brand yourself thanks to your books. You can also air your views through your books. And then many people can quote you through your books. This is why I write my books. There are 40 chapters why I write books and why you need to write your own book. Give a round of applause, please. Have I answered your questions? Yes, thank you, Pastor.